Hi friends, welcome to the phonetics class. I hope all are you fine. And can we begin the class with a prayer? You can close your eyes, fold your hands, and we can sing this hymn. As we gather in this place today, Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Have your way. As we lay aside our own desires, sweep across our hearts with holy fire. Have your way. This is your house, your home. We welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, your home. We welcome you today. Hello, friends. So, we are at the word stress. Are you ready for today's class? Till today's class, we have seen the level 1 phonemes, yet in the level 2 we saw the syllables, morphemes, and in the morpheme we have seen the past tense morpheme. Today we will be dealing with the rest of the morphemes. They are present tense morpheme, plural morpheme, and the possessive morpheme. Let me repeat, we are in the level 2 of the word stress. So far we have seen the morphemes. In the morphemes, we discussed the past tense morpheme. Today we will be discussing the rest of the morphemes. They are present tense morpheme, plural morpheme, and the possessive morpheme. Let's have a look. Now let's look the realization of the present tense morpheme. If the verb ends with a voiced sound, the present tense third person singular form of the verb takes z sound at the end. Listen carefully and repeat after me. Go. Goes. Dry. Dries. Disturb. Disturbs. Joy. Joys. End. Ends. If the verb ends with a voiceless sound, the present tense third person singular form of the verb takes s sound at the end. Listen carefully and repeat after me. Accept. Accepts. Bake. Bakes. Jump. Jumps, kick, kicks, fit, fits. Friends, I think rule number one and rule number two are clear to all of you. Clear? If you have any doubt, you should ask me. And we have rule number three. The rule number three, there is a slight difference. You may pay your attention to these six phonemes. They are S, Z, T, D, SH, Z. If the verb ends with these six phonemes, IS sound is added at the end. Let me repeat. The rule number three, there is a slight difference from the previous rules. If the verb ends with these six phonemes, 
s z r c r j r sh r j the last syllable it will be is clear got it is sound is added at the end if the verb is ending in this phonemes so let's go in detail if the verb ends with s z ch j sh r j sound the present tense third person singular form of the verb tight is sound at the end listen carefully and repeat after me face faces touch touches freeze freezes manage manages push pushes friends i think the present tense morphing is clear to all of you so in the morphing we have finished the past tense morphing last time and today we completed the present tense morphing now we are entering into the plural morphing pay attention there is nothing more to learn in plural morphing since all the three rules are same as in the present tense morphing what were the rules so you can try with me if the verb ends with a voiced sound complete if the verb ends with a voiced sound z sound is added at the end if the verb ends with a voiceless sound s sound is added at the end and if the verb ends with s or z ch or j sh or z is sound is added at the end clear so these rules are same for the plural morphing let's go in detail next is the realization of the plural morphing the rules for the present tense are the same for the plurals garage garages month months cap caps road roads door doors I think the plural morphing also clear to all of you isn't it isn't it easy there is no much difference between the present tense morphing and the plural morphing and the same is the case with the next morphing possessive morphing there is no rule change the rules of the present tense are same for the next set of morphing what is that possessive morphing Let's go in detail. The realization of the possessive morphing. The rules for the present tense are the same for the possessive morphing. George. Georges. Rose. Roses. Luke. Luke's. wolf wolves john john's dear friends 
I think today's class was clear to all of you. We didn't discuss much. We were discussing the morphemes. Last day we had finished the past tense morpheme. And today we discussed the present tense morpheme, plural morpheme, and the possessive morpheme. Tuned me. And each of these morpheme have three roles. The verb ends with a voiced sound. Here, this sound takes the end. And all the else, this sound takes the end. If the verb ends with a voiceless sound, past tense morpheme takes two sound at the end. Present tense, all the rest of the morpheme takes two sound at the end. And if here, if the verb ends with t or d sound, the end takes id sound. Here, if the verb ends with s or z, c or j, sh or j sound, the end will be is sound. Clear? I think the class was clear to all of you. Thank you for listening to me. At the end of the class, we have activity for today. This is activity 8. Some words are given. The next slides may copy the words in phonemes and read it. Clear? If you are doing the activities sincerely, you will find a considerable change in your pronunciation. Pay your attention and do the work. Good. So, we shall see you again later. Bye bye. Here we have some examples that will help you to learn the rules of morphemes. Try by yourself. Thank you.